from promoting peace to dealing with panhandlers in Omaha. The police chief is backing tougher laws to make it illegal for someone to ask you for money. But local shelters say that's not the answer. I hear this all the time in the community. I just saw that guy here and I saw them there. How'd they get there, Candace? Well, they drove. And Candace Gregory would know. For 20 years, she's worked at Omaha's Open Door Mission, helping people down on their luck. But she says here, they learn how to better their lives. But some, she says, learn how to be lucky. You have to remember that they're using this as a job, but they're not paying any taxes. And so some of our panhandlers, I know two to three, that have made thirty, forty thousand dollars um, and it's all it's doing is feeding this addiction. And addiction contributes to aggressive behavior. Omaha's police chief Todd Schmatter stands behind a proposal to put tougher laws on panhandlers who solicit stop traffic or follow a person who denies or ignores a request for money. Councilman Chris Jerem says the ordinance needs to spell out exactly what the punishment is before it serves its point. It needs to be very narrowly tailored to specific problem or safety conditions that exist with specific enumerated consequences in the ordinance. The initial draft doesn't have that in my view. But Gregory says it should not be about tough law, but rather tough love. We're spending all this time on this ordinance that we're talking about that will create more work for our law enforcement mm -hmm. when we as a community, we could solve it. Stop giving money to panhandlers. Omaha City Council will have a second reading on the panhandler ordinance. We'll keep you up to date on any changes or advancements to the proposal.